going on. I've been watching all these YouTube videos, and after watching countless videos of people doing things and me learning so much, I thought, you know what? I'm going to start my own channel. So this is video one of, I don't know, maybe one of one. If you guys like it, subscribe it and comment. We'll keep doing some more. But we're going to give it a try and see how it goes and just kind of show you what we do here on our farm. I'm a financial planner by occupation, but I'm a weekend warrior. So I do a lot of things. You'll see kind of some of the projects we've been doing during the quarantine and some of the things we've got coming up this summer. So excited you're joining us and I hope we can make a bunch of these. Where we are here is called the Rooster Dome. This is a barn, but uh, we're a big sports family and we wanted to put basketball goals in. And that's all we really use it for. But occasionally when it's raining like it has been today, I bring the trailer in. First project today is we're gonna put ammonium nitrate on our corn we got planted. And so the first thing I'll show you is the trailer. I was by myself earlier and I uh, couldn't pick up the trailer and see 250 plus 100. So 350 pounds of fertilizer plus the fertilizer spreader, which is a neat implement. Can't wait to show you that. So what I started doing is moving the bags to the back and it picked itself up. So just one bag made it go from on the hitch to two feet up in the air. So we're gonna get this back on the truck so we can move the uh, fertilizer up to the corn patch and we'll show you that. What it does that you heard it knocking, it vibrates all of the fertilizer down each of these tubes. So it puts all the fertilizer directly on the two rows of corn at a time. So in each pass, you put out one row of corn, excuse me, two rows of corn on each pass as you drive it through there. You can see here, this back here, as it rolls, it hits each of these knobs and clicks. And then it vibrates. This has got a setting here. It's adjustable and as it as it hits it vibrates this and it goes down these tubes and you pick it up here to show you. you you spread these tubes based on how far apart your rows are so we'll adjust that once we get up to the field be sure we get them to the right dimensions because we want to drop the ammonium nitrate just beside our corn but not on the corn if you drop it on the corn it can burn the corn so we'll get that set after we get on the tractor, once we get up the corn patch. So let me get the uh, tiller switched off and we'll put this on. up like this but we're about to plant a food plot in a couple of days so I'll need to till her right back on there so I'll put it back on here in a couple of days so I'll just stack them up here for now and uh, take care of it today. this one has a kickstand on it I always forget to put it down and I always forget to put it up. So that's one thing you'll learn if you watch any of my videos. I do a lot of things wrong. So put that in the comments. Hey, you should have done this because if I'm doing it wrong, somebody else is doing it wrong. And if you have more experience than me, put it in the comments and let people learn from it. I usually do the top link first. Then I do the TPTO. And then I do the each arm. But of course, since I'm videoing it, I did it all a little bit backwards today. No big deal. It all works the same. Uh, 
year I got plenty of fuel because number one, you don't want to run a diesel out of fuel. And number two, I hate having to stop in the middle of the job to do it. So this uh, is an old diesel fuel can and it's got a screen in there that uh, filters as you pour. Only thing over time, that metal screen, it tells you how old it is, there's actually a metal screen in there to filter. That metal screen has rusted and pours extremely slow. Sometimes I take that off and use the funnel. Didn't have the funnel with me today. As you'll learn with all my videos, I'm always running as hard as I can go to get as much done while I have time to do it. So we're gonna do the best we can with what we have and uh, move on from there. So I should have mentioned my tractor is a John Deere 770. It's a 1998 model. I bought it for a, from a friend of mine at work. And uh, when I bought it, two years ago about a year and a half ago had 250 hours on it so in the last year year and a half ever how long it's been i've put 100 hours we're about to close in on 350 hours and she's a great little tractor obviously you always want more horsepower but for little jobs i do the maneuverability and the light weight is a good thing to have so cap in that close this side up We'll put the fuel cap on. We'll switch over to the fertilizer and we'll uh, get this baby going. Those who've worked on tractors or worked with tractors, it's always something that needs to be fixed. Well, today it's the uh, battery cable. The positive battery cable has rusted and the corrosion has eaten the connector in two. It's been kind of giving me problems, so I went ahead and bought one the other day. Wasn't planning on fixing this today, but you know how it goes. Today's the day. So I don't have the tools I need, but I can always keep a little tool kit in the truck we'll do what we can with what we can and uh, do the best we can so on this 770 john deere 770 the battery sits down in this hole and they really i think want you to take off all of this air filter and everything that's how i replaced the battery just a month or so ago that's when i noticed the connection was getting bad i took this off and there's also you can take off the front grill down here you could take this front grill off um, and take it out that way. I'm gonna see you can, if we take off these side panels we'll Pull these little pins right here. They're on springs And so these are on springs here and then it just lifts Out of slots here. There's a stick Locking it down there I've been bush hogging trails in the woods. So I got sticks stuck everywhere on this. I'll show you some Show you some of those trails in a minute. I'll get rid of that stick. So this is the cord coming right through here. I'm wondering if we can pull it through. Find it down here. It's this lower one. If we can pull it through down here. It'll make it easier to change. So I'm gonna come right through here. Let me hit the cameraman. Cameraman's my son, by the way. He's doing a great job. I'm gonna try to feed this down through here without taking everything off and have a little bit more room to work on. May or may not. No, no, it's not gonna work. That hole is too small. Find the right wrenches, the best thing we have in my little tool bag here, and we'll try to take this off. This, uh, our 12 millimeter here. Good old John Deere made in America, right? And using a metric system. So we can fast forward the video as I take loose these one two bolts and it'll just pull up and sit right here and we'll hopefully have enough room there to get in there and replace that connector all right got the last one out there we're going to set that it's usually we'll set itself aside there put that right there now we gotta get this puppy right here see if we can't pull that back a little bit give me some room an awkward angle here i need to come around and drop my bucket I need to pull this back far enough to give me enough room to work here. Looks like uh, somewhere along the way we had a little electrical tape. Something else. Uh, well, not very much. So it was a grand total of four inches of electrical tape. And the only snips I had were in my bag was this right here. So I'm hoping that I can cut this with these. So we just take a little bit of time and maybe I can cut it. <laughs> go there's that side we got that side so we got that all 
And I'm gonna use got these strippers here. I'll see if I can use that to give me back enough room to get the work here. I can rotate this. But... wasn't planning on doing any of this today I don't have everything I need but we're gonna make do part of it is making do all right so we got our connector here all right these are not 12 millimeters but it will I think it'll let me tighten it up enough so I can Grab a different wrench here while I got a wrench going. A little more room to put this in. Try to get all those little wires in there. Right, I'm just going to spin that a little bit, try to get it to lay down. And a couple of them are not going to go, but that's okay. All right, we'll do the best we can. Let me get a smaller wrench here. It's like about a 7 sixteenths. It was a 7 sixteenths. When I was in school in the early 80s, we were told we were going to switch to the metric system, but we never did. Hmm, Y'all can comment on this, but I kind of wish we had to switch to the metric system 40 years ago, and everything would have been a whole lot easier all along the way to convert everything measure everything multiply out but anyway that's a math lesson and we're not here for a math lesson all right let's see what we can do here try to tuck this around there one thing to be sure not to connect your branch across those two things like i did the other day and got a nice little spark show there bump this down all right that should be good Tighten that up. It looks to be bigger than a seven. I believe that's a half inch, which I have right here somewhere. The 12 will work. I didn't see that. Yeah, 12 is going to work just fine. Didn't see my half inch right there. All right, let's do this. And then we'll move our tools here. Let's just try that before I put the air filter back on to make sure that worked. All right, step back, cameraman. We're going to fire it up. Hopefully. All right, love to hear that decent fire up. So let's put the air filter back on. Y'all don't want to see me do this. This is a lot of fighting to get big fat fingers that don't work like they should. Again, like I said on my intro, I'm not a mechanic. I am a financial advisor. So sometimes I look pretty awkward trying to get these things to work. So we'll, uh, we'll cut here fight this another right. day so i ended up putting this top bolt in first that held it in position so i could get this one in so that's good to go now i gotta put my side panel back on this hydraulic just needs to be touched back put the bottom in first I have little rubber grommets that rest in little sections here we'll put that in first we'll Put those in. This one in. Put this right here is down. There we go. We'll hook to the uh, fertilizer spreader and go from it. It's at this point I need to edit the video so I can stay within 15 minutes. Tune in for the next video to continue.